Hello guys and welcome back. Have you ever had a problem in explaining data in your spreadsheets or explaining your PowerPoints to your audience? Honestly, all of us have such issues. Now the point is how you can efficiently reach to a point where you can bring the focus of your audience to the relevant data in a better way, in a better presentable way. So for that reason, we use Excel charts or charts. Now these charts, can be very efficient. For example, you can see here donut charts that I've used to explain the data in, in different ways. So you can see I've been making certain splits of the data to explain my data to the audience to make it easy and efficient for them to see. So one of the examples is donut charts that I'm going to explain today to you. So let's move directly to our spreadsheet where we have this data of the customer countries who are exporting this uh, wheat to different countries. Now, we want to present this data in donut charts. So the first thing is you have to select the data. When you select the data, go to insert charts and go to more charts. In more charts, you can see this pie chart area. And in pie charts, you see at the very end these donut charts. Select the donut chart. Now, when you see this data, it's quite big data. And honestly, if you ask me to make it understand to my audience, it will be very difficult. Why? Because I cannot keep the focus of my audience on the right point. You can see there are small areas which are highlighted here. And to be honest with you, my audience have nothing to do with this. So what I suggest is, to make a very precise view for the people to see, to show the focus area which your audience wants to see or you want to show to your audience. So let's go back to our presentation. And in the presentation, you see it's very simple. I've taken four major areas which I'm explaining, Canada, USA, Australia, and others. Yes, that's the point, others. So what I will su like, like suggest you here is to make all of this in others, which is 15% of the total and explain these three countries. So let's add another row over here and title it as others and sum it up all of the others. Now we have rather four broader categories which explain the situation. I'll go back to insert menu. I'll go back to the charts, more charts and in more charts I have this pie chart. You can go through directly to the pie charts and donut charts here. So I've selected the donut chart here. I can see the exporters here. What I'll do is I will go and remove uh, this chart title to give a little bit more space to my chart. Now it's pretty much in a shape that I want to present. So I will take this chart to another spreadsheet, but I will create here. Uh, let's say, for example, let's make a duplicate of this slide and remove this chart from here. So we don't have anything here. It's emptied up. Now we'll present this chart um, here in this empty slot. So let's go back to Excel and pull this up in our spreadsheet. I'll copy this and I'll go back to the slide and there we go. We have this in a different format that really I don't want to see in this shape, but let's, let's try and change the colors rather than uh, playing it in Excel. So now we are supposed to present this data to our audience. So double click on this part and you will have all the format uh, data series options. So click on double or double click on this data series and you'll get these options, format area, options, data series. So there are three major areas that you see here where my mouse pointer is. One is angle of the first slide, slice, donut explosion and donut hole size. Now the donut hole size is the area where we're going to play. So I will recommend for a beautiful donut chart, make it 50%. Now when you'll make it 50%, you'll see this has come down here in the middle. So now it's a little bit different shape. Explosion is that how far these are from each other, which I'll not recommend to explore them at the moment. Keep them like this. The first slice angle is that the angle of this slice where it will go, I mean, it will move, rotate rather uh, the round. So you see the slice is moving. So that's how you can make the slice. Now we are done with this part, but I'll suggest it select. If you select the color changes here, these are not the best that we want to have. So you can even individually 
uh, select them and give them the colors of your choice. So for example, if I select this one, I go to home and their fill shape. In the fill shape, I will give a yellow color to this one. I will select the other one and I will give another color that I choose to the other one. And I will give another color to rather this one as well. So now you see this um, donut chart is kind of prepared for the view. Now we need to put a small hole, like cover this hole with a small circle. So insert shapes and in the shapes you have these circles. I will add this circle here. I'll move it a little bit more bigger if it makes sense. Yes, it does. And there we go. Now this is in the middle of the donut. I will change um, the color of circle rather a little bit more light yeah this is better now you can see it's a it's a quite a different shape from what we exported from our excel spreadsheet now you can play with the area like you can display the chart title if you want you can display the values now i will display the values or data labels through here so now i have the percentages here but the percentages i will suggest to make them white bold and big so so that these are clearly visible now you can see that all of the data here is quite visible now if you want to pull in the total number of of uh, tons let's say so edit text here and let's say 18 tons so i will make it a little bit small so that it should be so what we are talking about here is 18 tons and everybody knows it now and sorry for going back so now you can see this chart is kind of explaining the situation. Uh, I will recommend you to change the text color here as well. So let's make the text color in gray as well. So it makes more sense to have it grayscale. So now you can see how this donut chart can explain the data in a better and efficient way. So make sure that you have it uh, in, a, in a way that it explains to your audience. So for example, here we can see each country is explained for 2015 and 16 data and so on and so forth. So this is how you can use it. There, there, there is another way of using it, of multi, having multiple kind of data links. So for example, this is another different format of data. I go back to insert, insert and don't charts. And there you see now the data is explained in a kind of different way. So you can see the April data for each one of the countries is different colored. So this donut chart can be used in, in multiple dimensions. So for example, here I change again the size and you can see it's, it's explained in a different way. So it depends on what kind of data you have, what kind of explanation you want to make and what kind of situation you are in. But these donut charts, as you see, can be quite helpful for you in explaining your situations. So guys, I hope you can make yourself now a donut chart for your presentations and make a presentation more efficient for yourself. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any comments and suggestions. I'll really look forward for them. I wish and I hope that in the meanwhile you have a good day and looking forward to speak to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.